Hi, it's me, Phil. In this video, I want to show you how to set up proxy volumes and reflection probes in Unity. I'm going to show it in my project, Meganest, the sci-fi RPG, which I'm building for the last three years. And I'm going to show you how to set up the reflection probes, all the settings, and how to set up the volumes. Okay, let's dive into the project. Okay, here we are at Labyrinth, Oxygen District of Meganest. And I want to set up reflection probes and proxy volumes. First of all, rule number one is all the lights off, which you are not using in the bake. So like this turret here has a flash when they shoot. So I need to disable all the lights um, that I don't want in the reflection bake. Okay. So I need to go into my prefab for that. And I'm going to disable the point lights which don't need to be in the bake. Okay, let's disable them, save the prefab, and now we have this scene. Now, verify that on your lightning tab, that all baked data, lightning data is disabled or cleared. We can do that here on this drop-down button, clear baked data, click that. So all the data from the lightning, from the big data is all gone, okay? First of all, how to set up your environment and lights and volumes? That's very important. Now for me, I'm using prefabs for my labyrinth, but um, I can show you how it's built up. So it's built up by a floor, a walkable floor. It's built up by a wall, a left wall and a right wall and a ceiling. Now for this one. Okay. Now, very important is if you go into the inspector that the walkable is set as walkable for me. It can be indoor or uh, whatever name you give to that later, layer. It's very important you keep that in mind for the uh, reflection probes later. I will show you. Now, the walls are indoor. So I know it's all indoor. Everything from building is indoor in my project. The same for the ceiling. It's indoor on this layer here. Now, I know this, according to my other video also about uh, occlusion culling, we need to set up if it's static or not. Very important for the GI bakes. Um, so these walls, they are set under the layer indoor. And then this drop down here, it's static, but you can specify what and what not. So in the other video, the link is in the subscription. Um, you can check it out later for if you don't know, don't know about uh, occlusion calling. But this one is specified as contribute to GI. So it will be uh, picked up by the uh, bakes. Uh, occluder static, so this is actually the uh, occluder um, batching static, occludee is off, and reflection probe static. Very important, reflection probe static, okay? Check that. And we need to specify the rendering layer mask. So this is under the mesh renderer, and mine is set under the interior only. This is done for the floor, for this uh, left and right wall, and the ceiling. Now, if we go, this is only one part of the oxygen district. I'm gonna show you on the number two here. Let's show the volumes by enabling the uh, gizmos here on the right corner here. You can click this. Um, if you want to see how I'm setting everything, otherwise the, the whole screen will be full with uh, with icons and everything. So mine are, I'm using the 3D icons and then I specified a little bit uh, smaller and everything is off except of the reflection probe volumes and the uh, flexion. First of all, we need to specify a proxy volume. The proxy volume, we're gonna right click on this folder here and we're gonna add a volume and that's a reflection proxy volume, okay? I'm gonna specify it again as Number two, very important, naming your volumes. We're gonna leave it in the scene. 
we're not going to do anything. We leave it there. It's on the transform 000, and the box size is uh, 00, uh, 111. Okay, now we need to add a reflection probe. That's under light. Reflection probe. We're going to call this also reflection probe 2. I do this because then I know that the reflection probe is uh, getting information from the reflection probe volume number 2. So uh, I'm taking the same name, but for the volume and the reflection probe. I'm going to set it under uh, 1.2. Now, I want to place this reflection probe here. So I'm going to go into here with my camera. With the reflection probe clicked, I'm going to press Control shift f and that places the reflection probe at the camera position, but it takes also its rotation and its transform. Okay, so we need to uh, set the rotation to zero again. Zero, tap, zero, tap, zero. So now the reflection probe is completely at this position. We're going to drag it a little bit to the middle like this. Now we need to specify the box. We're going to set the box at its uh, position. We are using a blend distance of one. I'm going to set this to zero. So it's taking the complete box. So I'm not blending in uh, and out with a distance of one now. It's taking the whole box volume which we are seeing. Okay, I'm going to go into ISO. So we can see on top, I'm going to drag it in the center of this labyrinth part. Then we're going to click on this modify the base shape. So we can drag these boxes. Going to set it a little bit over the edge, not too much. Like this and like this. Let's go into left view, side view, a little bit over the floor and a little bit over the uh, ceiling. So it's nicely encapsulated the environment of the uh, walls and the floor and the ceiling. Okay. Now the box, the box size is set. Okay. Now the type we are, I use uh, baked because this helps with performance. If you gonna, you can do the test uh, if you're going to enable uh, real time. If you have 10 reflection probes and you're not doing proper uh, enabling or disabling your reflection probes, your uh, frame rate will be dropping like hell. OK, so in my case now, this is baked and we are asked to use a proxy volume. So we're going to take that proxy volume that we have just imported in the scene. It's on the transform here. I go back to the reflection probe. And we're going to grab its transform. We're going to grab the transform of the reflection probe. We do that by right clicking the transform here and we're going to copy its position. Now we go back to the reflection probe proxy volume and we're going to right click its transform and we're going to paste the transform position. So now this proxy volume is at the same position as the reflection probe. Okay. We go back to the reflection probe. We're going to grab its box size. So what I'm actually trying, what I'm actually going to do is going to grab the exact size of the box and we're going to copy and paste it on the proxy volume. Right click on the box size. We're going to copy its values. We go to proxy volume two and we're going to right click on the box size and we're going to paste it there. So what happens is we are we have taken the values, so now the proxy volume is actually the same size as the reflection probe volume. Now, this is all set, except one more thing, very important, very important, is the reflection proxy volume layer should be, I'm using light for it, it should be on the same as the lights or you need to specify a layer for the volumes. I set everything on light, the lights, reflection probes, and the proxy volumes, everything is on light. We're gonna need it later to set up the proxy volume. Now, we go back to reflection probe. We're gonna drag its reflection proxy volume, number two, into the proxy volume settings. We're gonna set on distance-based roughness. So when enabled, HDRP uses the assigned proxy volume to calculate distance-based roughness for reflections. This produces more physically 
accurate results if the proxy volume closely matches the environment. So we've done that. We're going to enable this toggle box. Okay, it's on. So the box is set. The shape is set. The box size, uh, the blend distance is for me zero. Blend normal distance is zero. So we can close this. So we got some focus on the capture settings. The capture position is actually, if you want to set the capture position of the uh, reflection probe to a wall or something which is specified in your scene, you can place the reflection probe a little bit to the left or the right or to the object you want to capture most in your reflection probe. We are taking the center of this shaft here, so we're gonna keep it in the center. Now the clear mode. This is taking actually the information of the light and the environment which is around in your scene. In my case, I'm in a dark scene and in a labyrinth. I don't have a sky, I don't have anything. So we are not using the sky. We are not using color. We are going to specify none. If you are using this in an environment externally or something you're using in directional light, then you specify like sky. To be sure, I set always my color to black because it's disabled background color to black. It's only used when you're using the color. If you want to specify like a color of blue or a yellow light, then you specify the background color. Now the volume layer mask, we need to specify which volumes we are using here in this environment, which we need to take account of in the bakes. Okay, next one is the volume layer mask. Here we need to specify which volumes will contribute to this reflection probe. So uh, we need to specify which volume that are. My volumes are set under post-processing. So everything from my volumes are set under post-processing. I need to set up post-processing here and default off. So only one in my case. If you have set multiple uh, volumes, for uh, something else, you need to specify them all here if you want to contribute them to the proxy volumes. The volume anchor, anchor override I don't use, but if you want to specify the special volume for your environment here and you need to drag its transform to that uh, anchor position. And you can do that for the camera also. And I want to refer for that to the documentation, which will be in the uh, description below. Occlusion calling is on because if this reflection probe is not contributing to the camera view or whatever, we can disable it completely, so it should be on. The culling mask. Culling mask means that everything, every layer that is specified here will be contributing to the reflection probe bake. Standard, it's everything, but you don't, do, don't want to put everything on it, so I said nothing and then i can specify okay what is in my scene what i need in my reflex pro bake and that is my case the walkable that's the floor for me that's the indoor that's the walls the floors walkable. then we have the indoor then we have the enemies like the turrets they are specified on the layer uh, enemy the lights the lootables the lootables in my case are the boxes and the droppables the openables, those are my doors. Then we have the elevators. We have the NPCs. Ignore collision, those are my objects which I cannot walk on. I know that. So you should check for your project which layers you want to have in your reflection probe and which not. And trigger in my case also. Uh, trigger, not. Next, clipping planes. The clipping planes are actually checking for the near. So the closest object of part which is specified in the culling mask in distance of 0.3 is captured in the reflection probe so if you take zero it will be yeah the object which is on the reflection probe that's the nearest the farthest is 1000 in this case standard that's not necessary i know this is five by five so it's maybe 10 or so i set it on 50. so far the maximum reach of the reflection probe is 50 in my case i set it on 50. The probe layer mask, very important also. It's gonna check which reflection probes are also near to or overlapping. So this one will be overlapping with other ones. So they are all set under the light layer. So I need to specify here my light. So nothing and light layer. Custom frame settings, standard frame settings. So I'm not clicking this on. I need to refer also to the manual for this. And that allows you to define custom frame settings for this probe. Disable this property to use the default frame settings. I'm going to dive in later on that, uh, maybe in a different video. Resolution, in my case, I'm going to use on low. Uh, we can do, uh, no, 
we're going to set on medium yeah medium for the bake so the bake is not so long range compression factor the result of the rendering of the probe will be divided by this factor so when the probe is read this factor is undone as the probe data is read this is to simply to avoid issues with values clamping due to precision of storing formats standard we keep it on standard one we keep it there now the light layers in the beginning of in the video i've said that uh, um, you need to specify your for your material to show also for the lights the lights will show on your material so mine is interior only so this needs to be set to interior only so we are capturing everything from the light layer interior only the multiplier is one we can put on one it's a good value you can see later on what we can do with it the weight which i do is i set it on 0 0.5 on the middle so you can tweak a little bit to uh, less or more with the uh, weight of the render settings the fade distance sets a distance from the camera at which reflections smoothly fade out before EGLP cuts them completely so if a camera is coming into the scene and your reflection probe is 1000 meters away it's gonna pop up already in the camera view we're not gonna do that best to take into account that okay the camera uh, here also this reflection probe is standing in in the middle of the scene if the camera is here it's only 50 meters so we're going to take 100 meters so it's going to fade out immediately if we turn and we go away this helps all with performance also now what we can do is we can bake this reflection probe but before we do that we are going to show you inside here so you can see also all the material everything is dark uh, no reflections whatsoever the doors also everything is dull this is uh yeah not baked so no volume uh, reflection probes i'm gonna grab all my reflection probes like this shift click so the first one then shift click the other one so 15 uh, reflection probes and we're gonna click bake now unity will bake the reflection probes and now you can see the reflection probes that are baked now the walls are i'm gonna disable this gizmo here the walls are like it should be like the paint is a little bit some parts is a little bit uh, shiny a little bit dull now the material also here has metal on it we can play with the weight now okay we want a little bit more or not 0 0.8 0 0.8 maybe so here you have a reflection probe baked now for all the environments they are baked now you can see on this reflection probe everything everything is baked okay so I hope this video helps with setting up a reflection probe. If you have questions, you can put them in the uh, chat or, or below the video. I'm streaming on Twitch also if you have questions. And subscribe to the uh, channel and like this video for future updates. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.